Welcome to cookingwithchampagne.com. See me making a cake batter? You know what day it is. It's Friday. Welcome to Friday and dessert and cocktails. Today I'm going to make you my chocolate cherry towers with a champagne cream inside. They're delicious. And we're going to make an adult Shirley Temple for today. So that's what's on the menu for this Friday as we kick off our weekend together. Uh, as you can see, some of the ingredients, of course, uh, one of our favorite things, cake mix in a box. How could you go wrong? You can embellish on this any which way you want. Today we're going to make our chocolate cherry towers. Uh, cherry comes in with our cherry pie filling. And of course I have some maraschino cherries as well. I have some champagne chilling. We're going to make our cream sauce. But first let's get to our cake mix. I just made my cake batter right here. And it's just the instructions on the box of whichever chocolate cake you choose. To this, I'm going to add some of my cherry filling. Now, this is what you use for uh, cherry pie. You can buy this in any of your local stores. Sometimes you can buy cherries that are packed in some liqueur if you want to use that as well, that are marinated. So, whichever you want, break that in. And right here, I have a baking pan that has these round circles in it. Now, if you don't have a pan like this, just use a regular sheet pan and then you could cut out circles with a cookie cutter. You could just bake a whole sheet pan of chocolate cake and do the cookie cutter thing. So being that I have this, what I'm going to do is I'm going to butter each one of these. This butter is at room temperature. Make sure you take it out the night before. That's what I do. And just butter these generously. So now all I'm doing is I'm taking this parchment paper. I cut circles. And I'm just going to butter the parchment paper so it sticks down into our little circles. Butter it on the top. And you do that to each one. If you can find one of these, if not, like I said before, just use your sheet so This is the last one that I put in with the parchment paper. And I'm just making sure that the parchment paper is buttered as well. Okay, so now all we're going to do is take our mixture... And we're going to pour this in to each one, almost filled. You just want to make sure that each one has some cherry in it. If you think you need to add more cherry, then do so. So here we go. We're just going to take these. My oven is preheated according to the directions on the box. We're going to put them in. Bake them off. When they're done, we're just going to come out and do the next layer. And then when they're all finished baking, we're going to come back and make our champagne cream. So now I've finished off all of my little cakes. They're sitting here cooling off. And we put as little a batter, just to cover the surface in those little circles, as we could. This way, you know, because they rise up. So this is what they look like. They're just cooling down now. So, and if you have a sheet cake and not the little circle pan, just make the sheet cake in a thin layer. Not that thick because you know it rises. So this is cooling off. Let's go over here. Now we're going to make our champagne cream. Now I usually do this with mascarpone, which is an Italian cheese, uh, cream cheese. But being that we're living on a budget and Philadelphia cream cheese was on sale, use it because it's Italian cream cheese, cream cheese is cream cheese. So when you're on a budget, you're on a budget. And you know anybody out there knowing that unemployment doesn't stretch very far. So this was on sale. I use the one-third less fat. If you can cut calories, do it. So here it is. It's softened, room temperature. Now what I'm going to do is add a teaspoon of champagne to this just to lighten it up. Now look at how cute this little bottle of champagne. You don't have to buy the big bottles. Now I'm using a sweet champagne. This is a sweet rose champagne by Corbel. Um, so we're going to just put a little bit, bit of that in. And I'm going to put in a teaspoon of vanilla extract. And we're just going to lighten up this whipped cream. And then we're going to taste it. I want to put the least sugar in as possible because we're going to incorporate the cream cheese with whipped cream. So let's just lighten this up. So here it is. It's lightened up a little. 
Now to this, here's my maraschino cherries that I bought. You buy them with the stem on it because when you're decorating, you put it on the top, you want the stem to stand up. So to this, because I want it like a pink color, I am going to add a half a teaspoon of the maraschino cherry juice to this because we're going to also add it to the whipped cream, okay? So just mix this in as well. Now I want to taste this. This is what it looks like. I want to see how sweet I want to make it. So now I like to use sweet and low. If you don't like sweet and low or any of the sugar substitutes, you can use extra fine sugar, but powdered sugar is the best. And you make it as sweet as you like. Some people don't like things that sweet. I'm using two of these little pink teaspoons right here. So which what I, I would say would be like maybe a tablespoon of powdered sugar. And just mix that in. Now let me taste it again. Perfect. For me, it's perfect. Okay, so now that we have this done, we're going to do our whipped cream. So now we're going to make our whipped cream. This is frozen. I kept it in the freezer overnight, and I kept the, the blades or the beaters in the freezer too. Everything has to be cold when you make whipped cream. And this is one, uh, this pint. Don't have my glasses on, so I can't see. One pint of heavy. To this, I'm adding some more champagne. And I'm going to add... Is it a tablespoon? One, two tablespoons of champagne, and about a tablespoon powdered sugar if for people who don't use sweet and lower substitutes. Then taste it. If you think it needs to be a little bit more sweet, add a little bit more powdered sugar. So here we go. Let's whip. So now that we've got it to soft peaks, it should look like this. Soft whipping. Peaks. We're going to add some more of the pink maraschino cherry juice from the jar, okay? So let's put a tablespoon, two tablespoons, let's do three. See the color, how yeah, pretty this pink is, but we still have to incorporate it with our cream cheese. How pretty that is, right? So let's just... Mix that around. Now here's our cream cheese that we made before. And we're just going to incorporate that in to the whipped cream. I think I want to add another tablespoon of pinkness. And you can really just play with this. I mean, you make it as pink as you want. As dark or as light. Even use a little food coloring, but the maraschino cherry gives it the cherry flavor. So let's mix the cream cheese and the whipped cream together. This is what it looks like. How pretty is this color pink? Like I said before, just fool with it. If you like it more pink, add a little at a time as you're mixing it. This is beautiful. Let's taste it. Mmm, you really taste the fizziness of the champagne in there and the cream cheese. Delicious. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this, I'm going to put it in my piping bag, and then we're going to set everything up to make our chocolate cherry top. So now that everything is done, here's our cream, our champagne with a little bit of maraschino cherry juice in there, cream with the cream cheese. Here's our little cakes. Let's build our chocolate cherry tower. So, I'm going to take a nice, now some of them come out certain sizes, some of them the other. So, pair the ones that look the same. So, here's one. You lay it down. Invest in a piping bag if you don't have one. They are so worth it. And then all we do is pipe this around. How pretty is that pink? Champagne. Ooh, that's pretty. And then I'm going to put another one right on top. Looks like an Oreo cookie, right? With pink inside. And then we just go right around. You want the flat side on the top. There you go. And then just pipe it down. 
and then we're just going to pipe that around. Not the whole circumference, but you just want it like that. And then what we do is we add the cherry, nestle that right in there on top. How pretty is that? Isn't that great? Doesn't that look good? Here's some red flakes that you can just drizzle around. Make it very festive. Now let's make our drink. Shirley Temples are for kids, but they can be for adults too. So what I have here is some maraschino cherry juice. Seven up. That's what they usually make uh, Shirley Temples with. But this is the secret ingredient. Let me get my glass. It's in the fridge. I want it to be nice and cold. So what I have here is one ounce of vanilla vodka and one ounce of cherry vodka. Okay, you put that in. And top that off with some 7-Up. Fill the glass. Makes a nice fizz. And then what we do is we take this. Has it splash on it? Look how pretty that is. Ooh, that's great. And then that at the edge of your glass. And there you have our chocolate cherry towers. Our cakes have cherry inside of them. This is a champagne and maraschino cherry cream. This is a adult Shirley. Why is my cherry falling overboard? Let's just put it in. So this is a champagne toast to Friday, a wonderful weekend. I'll see you on Monday for another great recipe. Make sure you download this recipe. It's delicious, okay? And here's a champagne toast to you. Happy weekend.